hi students happy to meet you all now we are going to see about 10th standard social science geography part two more questions and answers for unit 6 physical geography of tamil nadu first question state the boundaries of tamil nadu tamil nadu look as like a triangular shape it has five boundaries are given here one bay of bengal in the east kerala in the west andhra pradesh in the north karnataka in the north west indian ocean in the south east side bay of bengal west side kerala north side andhra pradesh north west karnataka south indian ocean are the boundaries of tamil nadu next question what is teri the sand dunes formed along the coast of ramnathapuram and thoothukudi districts are called teri the sand dunes are very unique in the coastal areas of ramnathapuram and thoothukudi this sand dunes look as like a Uh, red in color it is called teri the sand dunes formed along the coast of ramnathapuram and thoothukudi districts are called teri next question how is coastal plains formed the plains are two type like river plains and coastal plains he asking coastal plains coastal plains of tamil nadu are also called koramandal or chola mandalam chola mandalam means land of cholas this is the coastal areas of tamil nadu coastal plains of tamil nadu india has two coastal plains like west coastal plains and east coastal plains uh, tamil nadu have east coastal plains east coastal plains are called two type Uh, in the northern part of east coastal plains are called northern sargar southern part of east coastal plains are called koramandal or chola mandalam the land of chola it is called uh, coastal plains of tamil nadu it is extends from chennai to kanyakumari extends from uh, chennai to kanyakumari are called koramandal coast then it's formed by the rivers that flow towards east drain in the bay of bengal most of the south indian rivers uh, it's originated in the west and uh, flows and join in the bay of bengal in tamil nadu river also join in bay of bengal like palar uh, tenpennai kaveri vaigai like that so the rivers formed the east coastal plains especially coastal plains of tamil nadu coastal plains of tamil nadu are called koramandal or chola mandalam the land of cholas it is extends from chennai to kanyakumari it's formed by the rivers that flow towards east drain in the bay of bengal next question name the major islands of tamil nadu islands it's a lands surrounded all side by water uh, which land is called as islands so india has two island groups like uh, andaman nicobar island groups and lakshadweep island groups uh, it has only two island groups but tamil nadu have uh, so many small island groups they are pamban islands second Hair Islands. It's in Tamil, Moyal Thiyu. Then, Kurusadai Islands. Next, Nallathani Thiyu. Next, Pullivasal Islands. Next, Srirangam Islands. Next, Uppathani Thiyu. Next, Island Grounds. This is called in Tamil, Thiyu Thidal. Next, Kattupalli Islands. islands next kuvipil islands next 
Vivekananda Rock Memorial Islands. These are called island groups of Tamil Nadu. Pamban, Hair, Kurusadai, Nalatani Thivu, Pullivasal, Srirangam, Uppatani Thivu, Island Grounds, Kattupalli Islands, Kuipil Islands, Vivekananda Rock Memorial. Next question. Name the tributaries of rivers Thamirabarni. The river Thamirabarni flows in um, Thirnal Valley districts. It has many tributaries like uh, Karayar, Servalar, Manimuttar, Gardanadi, Pachayar, Chittar, Ramanadi. These are called the tributaries of Thamirabarni. 1. Karayar Next, Servalar Next, Manimuttar Next, Gardanathi Next, Pachayar Next, Chittar Next, Ramanadi Next question Define Disaster Risk Reduction as per UNO concept, the disaster risk reduction is the concept and the practice of reducing disaster risks through systematic efforts to analyze and reduce casual factors of disaster. It's given the concept of practicing practice of reducing disaster risk through systematic effort and also to analyze and to reduce the casual factors of disaster. Next, this includes reducing exposure to hazard, lessening the vulnerability of people and property, wise management of land and environment, and improving preparedness and early warning for adverse events. So this is uh, this is called disaster risk reduction next one during cyclone how does the meteorological department want the fisherman during cyclone uh, in tamil nadu occur end of the november and december december months uh, occurring cyclones Do, uh, that time the meteorological department wants the fisherman through mobile phone, radio, TV and the newspapers not to go into the sea. Often we are heard uh, in news, uh, TV news during the rainy season uh, due to heavy rain and the cyclones the fishermen do not go to into the sea. Like that we have heard some news in TV as well as newspaper, radio etc. Then they also wants the fishermen to keep boats and rafts tied up safety and have a radio to get the information about the situation. So how the meteorological department wants the fishermen. Okay students, it's a little bit help to you. If you feel it helps to you, Please subscribe uh, and share to your friends.